Hi there guys, it's uh, Ray from Seagulls in Leeds and we are at another pairing session uh, here in Leeds, in the lounge. And with me today, it's a very, very interesting uh, and special guest for me, uh, the man himself, Mitchell Orchant. Hi Mitchell. Hi Ray, nice to be back after quite a while. Quite a while. I hear you've got another sold out event tonight. Absolutely, it's literally, I don't know how I'm going to fit all the people tonight, to be honest. It's Did you set out last night as well? And it was a ladies' night. Last night was one of the but most... But you had a gate crasher. Well, a, man. a little bit, yeah. Well, we pretend that was the, the, the bodyguard on one of the ladies. Ah, okay. Let's say that way. <laughs> so, uh, what are we tasting? We've got uh, my Alec Bradley Shorties, the Robusto. Absolutely. That's a beautiful cigar. And yes, let's, uh, let's see what we're going to smoke. Before you smoke it, look at the colour of that wrapper. I mean, that is a natural Maduro, isn't it? Okay, yeah. What well, a beauty. So that should give it a little bit of sweetness. And, um, well, I remember blending it. Let's see if it tastes the same as my original memory of um, when I was tasting the blending samples with George Souza in Alec Bradley in Florida. How long ago was that? About, it's a good question, about five years ago. I kind of lost a couple of years with COVID, but it must have been about Is that one of the first uh, orchard selection you made? Well, no, the first ones were Havana's. Okay, yeah. Obviously, a long, long time ago. Um, but yes, it was an early one. I think the first New World one would have been the Oliva collaboration, where we did Shorty, Skinny and Chubby yep. with Oliva. And they are very, very lovely. I've done already a video with the Chubby. Oh, Quite interesting. Excellent. I chose the weird size for the... It's because a lot of people, you know, the Robusto and stuff like that. Yeah. I decided to go for the Chubby because it's a very interesting size and I think its expression is completely different. Than it's a Chubby Nubby. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> That's a so, lot of flavor. Yeah, let's let's lit and smoke and see what we're going to find in this one. Let's do it. You smoke this guy like a million times probably, but what do you think? You know, I, I always say, I always will explain mine first. It's a, for me, it's nice sweetness of the cigar. It's a beautiful, beautiful sweetness on the background. Nice spiciness. It's it's complex. That's what we're looking for. I don't looking for a boring cigar. That's why I hate to film boring cigars, which are not interesting. I want complexity. I want cigar to be, literally keep me puffing all the time. And flavor on a scale of naught to 10? Nine and a half. Strength? Four. Yeah, very good. Excellent. You recognized it because it's a balance. You see, I like full flavor, mass sabor, um, but not mass fuerte. So I think this is a very nice balance because you're getting volumes of flavor on your palate from start to finish. And it is complex. As we go on to the second, third, you'll see how it develops. It's very different. The sweetness actually comes through in a different layer entirely. Um, but this was introduced to me, this blend by George Souza when he was working at Alec Bradley, very good friend of mine, one of the biggest personalities in the business, a great fun guy, um, and he really hit the winner with this. So, thank you, George. <laughs> Agree. So, yeah, we'll come back in a few more minutes when we're going to decide what we're going to drink with the cigar. Just tell me about the construction quickly. How's your construction drawer? Construction is beautiful. No problem on the draw. It's, it's anything what you need. Enough resistance, enough, pro en enough transition into the cigar. It's, yeah. For me, that's just about perfect, I would yeah. say. It's no, no problems. You can see, you'll see on, the, on the camera, it's perfect. Well done, Alec Bradley and... Uh, George Sosa. Yes, absolutely. Perfect. We'll come back in a minute. How do you like the pairing? Right, it's... Uh, yeah, it's a beautiful whiskey. I'm, I'm so happy you recommend me to try this one. Does it complement the cigar or does Absolutely. it challenge the no, cigar? No, it complements it in my opinion because it's not a strong whiskey, like 60% or something like that, to actually start challenging and killing the body on the cigar. It's complemented. They work together. That's my ideal expression. You know, my funny accent wouldn't tell better than that. But it's, uh, yeah, complement a lot. And it's not super sweet. I don't think the sweet whiskey will work well with that cigar as well. You know, something like honey space side or something like that. You need literally something more balanced. It's perfect. Tell me more about, a little bit more about the whiskey then. Well, my partner Ron Morrison selected it some years ago. It's a huge seller for us because there aren't many cigar malts 
on the market and there's none as good as this as far as we're concerned. Very, very consistent. Um, I help with the design of the um, label. It's my claim to fame and I did the final tasting sessions and was very happy to select it. I can't tell you what distillery it's from, otherwise I have to kill you, which I don't want to do because I quite like you, because it's top, top, top secret. Um, but it is one of the major distilleries. And um, yes, I think it pairs very well. Um, it it complements the cigar. It doesn't drown the flavours. It doesn't overpower it. Whereas my partner, Ron, would very much like an Isla whiskey because he likes the challenge of flavours. But I, I like things to be a bit more gentle and complementary. Yeah, with the cigar, I think if you want to do an Isla style whiskey, probably you need more stronger cigar. Something more full bodied. I would challenge agree with, with, you. The, with the peatiness and the smokiness of the Isla whiskies. A Lito, a Lito Gomez cigar. Yeah, most likely, yeah. It's that La Flor Dominicana. La Flor Dominicana, absolutely. I, I actually love those cigars. They're good. Changing the subject from Alec Bradley. They're good. Um, they are, and I don't smoke a strong cigar ever, but I can, I can smoke that cigar because it's got a different depth in the complexity I, and the way the strength actually comes through. I always say I like strong cigars, but I don't like boring strong cigars. Very good. I like full flavored, full body cigars. Not a full body, minimum flavors. Like a man cigar. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we'll come back to the final thoughts in a few minutes when we enter the cigar. Cheers. What's the, what's the final thoughts on the, on the day today? What do you think about the pairing? Perfect for me, hence I selected both of them. Fortune Selection Cigar Malt, Orchard Selection Alec Bradley. I love it. Doesn't in Orchard Lounge. Doesn't get much better. In Orchard Lounge. Exactly. What Does that get better? much better? Nothing better. Impossible. I, nothing I can add. It was a beautiful pairing, beautiful afternoon with you. Thank you. And you know the best thing about these Alec Bradley Orchard Selection? The consistency. The blending's the same that I selected five, six years ago. They are just excellent cigars from start to finish. The blend's been consistent from day one, and I love that. First class. That's how it should be. Thank you, Alan Rubin. <laughs> thank you, George Souza. Uh, thank you very much for coming, and thank you very much for being my guest today in the lounge, and I hope we'll do that again, maybe in London. Definitely. I'll be back soon. Perfect. Thank you very much, guys, for the patience, and I'll see you soon on the next session. Cut.